Hello, Prim friends. My name is Reynaldo Hill Sembrano, and I have been print making for eight years. In the summer of 2021, we decided to travel and document the growth of contemporary print with the shared stories of artists and curators living in the U.S., giving you a look inside their studios. Prepare to join us for a journey through the inspirations that made us fall in love with the art of print making. interested in is when I see something that the marks are so crazy but they come together and become the thing that is what's exciting to me you know when something like that happens and that's what I'm trying to achieve I'm Mary Farrell I grew up in northern Kentucky and I lived there and in Cincinnati until I moved to Spokane to teach printmaking at Gonzaga. From my earliest memory, I've been making art. And I got into printmaking, I think because it's a, a call and response, and I love to respond in the choices I'm making in my art. I respond to my subject matter, respond to what happens when I pull a proof and I, and I see what I've got and then I can make a choice and add something else. And I feel like it expands the decisions I make beyond what they would be if I didn't have that intervention. The subject matters I'm interested in are primarily organic and forms that have gesture. It's looking for that sense of motion in the piece, that aliveness that is interesting to me. I've used a number of different techniques. I really enjoy uh, relief, and mostly when I do relief, I'm using wood. And I really love etching and dry point, so using dry point tools because of their immediacy. I love mixing processes too. I like uh, mixing relief with etching. The relief can give me shape, and the etching is so much about line, um, and I, I think they feed off of each other really beautifully. You know, maybe everything would be slicker if I always did the same process all the time, but I really get bored if I have to do the same thing over and over again. My work isn't really conceptual, you know? I'm not like coming up with, this is what I'm gonna do, and it's all, this, it's all about this thing that's in my mind. I might go, okay, what does this need? Oh, it needs something that are lines going this way and find something that has, you know, these lines moving back and forth. Or I'll have themes that I, re I return to a lot, like the skin prints where I have the patterns of my skin that are carved. Or, you know, I'll have something that's similar to that in land topography and I have blocks that are carved with that from a piece of land my family owned in Kentucky. And so I'm layering these elements that I've, I've returned to again and again and finding new ways to work with them. I always feel like my best work is in front of me. I'm excited to see where that goes. I always have a new thought of what I want to do, and often it's process driven too. I'll be thinking, oh, I'd love to do something where I'm laying this down first and then adding that on top of it. And then I think, okay, but what do I want to do that with? <laughs> I always feel like there's all this work in front of me that I haven't done yet. And I'm always imagining it as being amazing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.